So Microsoft Teams is a very, very popular application. It's also a very popular website tool that you can get access to instead of your phone, Macs, PCs, whatever you have. And I'll show you exactly how to use Microsoft Teams. Now, this is what the application looks like. When you go ahead and download it for the first time, this is what the application will give you. Now, sometimes your work or your organization might give you a Teams link to sign into with your email. So make sure you sign into it with the appropriate email. At the very top, you'll have your search bar, and then you'll have different chats that you can go and have with people. Typically, like with any Teams chat, even with mine that's more populated, you'll just have a bunch of chats that are right here. So you can go through and you can quickly tap into a chat and you can message somebody. So if I click on new message, I can go through and I can search for somebody to go and message. I can go and search with somebody in my organization to message as well. So you do have all that information right here, which is actually something cool. And you can quickly click meet at the very top if you want to meet now or join with a meeting ID. At the bottom, you'll start to see a few more things. The new message icon will allow you to quickly create a new message to somebody within your organization. If you have their information or name, you can just search for them here. Then you have a couple of tabs at the bottom. The chat tab will allow you to come right into your chats. So this is your main page of all the chats that you're into. Your communities, if you click here, these are going to be a little other areas where you can go through and kind of organize and create a community with. So if you tap here, you can go and create a community for school. You can create your own Teams link. And same thing for all these other ones too. So if you're a company and you want to make your own organization, you can just click into here and create your own Teams channel. And then you can have people add and you know come into that Teams channel from there. You can also tap on calendar right here if you want other people to basically be able to see your particular, if you just want to see your calendar and what you have going on in that day. You can also just tap right into here and you can see your calendar come up this way as well. So that is something that's actually really cool as well. And that's another thing you can kind of do here. And that's you know kind of another important thing I'd recommend kind of thinking about here as well. And then at the very end, you have an activity. So any new activity that's basically been happening inside of your you know, channel or your organization, you'll be able to see that information come up right here as well. And that's another very quick, really cool thing that you can kind of do here too. At the very top left, if you click here, you'll see that there's a couple of things. One, you'll have your team's email at the very top. So you'll be able to see all the emails that you basically get, or at least your link to your email right at the very top. And I'll go and zoom in for you. You'll also be able to see whether you're available or not available. What this basically means is if you want people to see that you're online, you can go ahead and tap into here and say that you're available or that you're busy. That way people won't bother you. You can also set your notif notifications to on. You can go into your team's settings here and modify a lot more options, which is another really quick and easy thing you can do here as well. You can also go through when you're right up here and you can go ahead and you know see your teams inside a program. You can invite other people to teams. You can see your saved and your files, and you can even add another account if you want to. If you have another Microsoft account, you can go and click into here and add someone else inside of an account as well. So those are that's basically a high level how to use Microsoft Teams. It's super basic. It really isn't super complicated, and it is a really nice type of application that a lot of people use, especially a lot of companies use in order to kind of, you know, it's like a Slack channel basically. So that's basically how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.